On September 6, 2023, we posted a video where we talked about Terrence Mann wearing Skechers. This was a key moment not because of Terrence Mann, no disrespect to Terrence, but because for the first time in a very long time, we finally get to see Skechers giving us one sign that the brand is set to return to performance basketball footwear. And if that wasn't enough, we now have Julius Randle wearing Skechers with Goodyear branding during the 2023 NBA Media Day. But hold on, isn't Julius Randle with Nike? And what does Goodyear have to do with Skechers? Let's talk. Welcome back, this is Fresh Pear. Smash the thumbs up button, share this video, follow me on Instagram. If you're new here, subscribe to my channel for updates. That said, let's dive in. On late June 2014, Julius Randle signed a contract with Nike. The brand even posted a tweet on Twitter at the time to welcome Julius into the company. Almost 10 years after and Julius seems to have switched to Skechers. No formal announcement yet from Mr. Randle but there are small clues. The Instagram account of Skechers Performance follows Julius Randle's Instagram account. Julius also follows the account back. Nike does not follow Julius and Julius does not follow Nike. Take it for what it is, but if social media teaches us anything, endorsers follow the brands they are endorsing and vice versa, because that's the way brand affiliations work. So there's probably a good chance that Nike and Julius have cut ties already. So Julius Randall seems to have jumped ship. But what does Goodyear have to do with Skechers? It has a lot to do with the soul. But for the uninitiated, let's backtrack. Back in February 2020, Goodyear announced in its website that it has entered into a collaboration with Skechers. If you don't know yet, Goodyear is a tire and rubber company that had its humble beginnings in 1898 in Akron, Ohio. Today, Goodyear is one of the leading brands in the tire and rubber industry. Goodyear says that it is providing Skechers with performance outsoles that are durable and with exceptional traction through the use of a special polymer that includes sustainable soybean oil. No surprise there as Goodyear knows a thing or two about rubbers for more than a century. The collaboration between Goodyear and Skechers began in 2020 for a selected line of shoes and the list has expanded since then. And now we have the yet-to-be-named shoe from Skechers bearing the name of Goodyear. What we saw on Terrence Mann's feet earlier in September is a completely different shoe from the ones worn by Julius Randle early October. Terrence Mann was also seen wearing the same kicks during the 2023 NBA Media Day. Nothing is known as of this time about the performance features of the shoe, but based on the published photos, we can have a few educated guesses. Let's start with the upper materials of this low top silhouette. The midfoot section of the shoe seems to be using an open type mesh backed by a blacked perforated TPU layer and another layer of white woven mesh. This woven mesh seems to extend to the toe box. The shoe has TPU film that doubles as lateral reinforcement and foxing. There's a thicker TPU film at the toe section against toe drags as well as for additional reinforcement. There's an orange integrated midfoot strap that also doubles as lacing pipes, of which there are two. There are three eyelets at the top of the tongue which look standard. The eye stay looks to be a thicker type of TPU and this extends to the heel section. There's an external heel counter probably made of plastic and the bottom section of this probably sits throughout the base of the heel. No word on the cushioning but if we are to go with what Skechers has, it's possible that the shoe uses the brand's top-of-the-line foam called Resolite which is an injection molded EVA compound. Otherwise, we could be looking at something new from the brand. For the outsole, we can expect Goodyear to deliver the goods. No details on the outsole design just yet, but if history is any indication, the traction pattern could be using wide herringbone patterns almost like triangles, just like in previous Skechers shoes, specifically from the brand's Go Run collection. Skechers is a big brand and so is Goodyear, but to be completely honest, Terrence Mann and Julius Randle have big shoes to fill if they are to sell pairs globally. 
yet it does seem like the shoe itself looks promising from a performance standpoint. The construction seems good so far, and the build is straight up no frills, just pure performance. We could be looking at a decent on-court performer at the least, nudged to the public consciousness to some extent by the two NBA players. But let me know what you think about the shoe. Post your thoughts in the comment section. Follow me on Instagram. Share this video. Smash the thumbs up button as well. If you're new here, subscribe to my channel for updates. Thanks for watching. This is Fresh Pair. Peace and love to the fellow underdogs.